The Clippers were back at Staples Center for the second night of the row, playing their first back-to-back -back of the season against a depleted Warriors team with the recent loss of Brandon Rush and Andrew Bogut also out. But the Warriors came out aggressive, striking first, and the Clippers just couldn't recover, coming away with the 114-110 loss to Golden State. Today, what we talked about coming out, jumping on them early, and they jumped on us early. I was disappointed with the way we came out. Um, it doesn't matter who we played, you know, yesterday or whatever. It's, that's irrelevant. The game is tonight. It's a different team, a different opportunity for us to get better, and we didn't tonight, and that's the frustrating part. We've got to be ready right out of the gate, no matter if it's a back-to-back, -back, no matter if we come off an emotional win. Um, you know, it has to be, you know, at a high level every single night because we have that, that target on our back now. You know, we understand we got a target on our backs. You know, those guys came out, uh, could have closed their eyes and made every shot they threw up there early. You know, good, good for us early in the season, I guess. You just hate that you have to lose to learn, you know, something like that. It would have been nice to win and learn from the game, but it's all good. It's early. Good wake up call, you know, show that we can't come back and turn it on whenever we want to. You know, adversity is, is going to come, and, you know, uh, it's important to, to see how we respond to it. And I think we will respond the, the correct way and then come in Monday prepared to work and shoot around and, and be ready, uh, you know, come Monday night. This team will have a chance to bounce back right back here at Staples Monday night when they host the Cleveland Cavaliers. Till then, I'm Madeline Burke for LAC TV.